about five and a half years ago, we were gifted this jar of vanilla beans and it was full of liquid and it was almost finished brewing, I guess, into homemade vanilla. A friend gave it to us as part of a wedding gift along with a homemade cookbook and it was absolutely one of our favorite gifts because the vanilla was delicious and it was such a sweet personalized touch. So. You can imagine I was sad when the vanilla ran out and after doing some research and that those beans sat on my shelf floor forever in that jar with a little bit of liquid, I realized that I can make my own homemade vanilla pretty simply. So I ordered some vanilla beans offline. Um, they were kind of hard to source locally, but not too hard to source online. And then what I did was I decided to keep the beans that were in the jar because they still had vanilla scent to them and I figured it couldn't hurt making it more vanilla-y. So from my research, basically you can just use any kind of vodka. You could also use a rum and depending on which one you pick, it's going to alter your flavor a little bit. All you're going to do is take your beans out of the package, slice them lengthwise. I also cut mine in half just because the size of my bottle, it fit better. So once you do that, you're going to notice that there's a paste inside. You don't have to pull that paste out or anything, but that's what the actual vanilla bean paste is. It's kind of cool to see. Then you're just going to fill your jar up uh, with vodka or rum. And it doesn't have to be an expensive kind. It can literally be the cheapest one on the shelf, which is what I went for, because it's just what the beans brew in and actually make the homemade vanilla. You're gonna to wanna to put it in a, a cool dark place for about six weeks and then it's ready to use and it's just as simple as that. When you cook with it, it burns off the alcohol so you don't have to worry about that and it is such a nice flavor. <laughs> Over the months, as it starts to empty out, you can just add more rum or um, vodka and for about 10 months, you can keep topping it up that way. Give it about six weeks each time to finish.